Welcome to the series of Ninja Shortcut Keys and let me continue the discussion. This time my eyes are on this shortcut key called Control Enter. Although I'll be talking about the applications of Control Enter as we proceed in our other video series and other application. Right now let me just give you a theoretical bracework of Control Enter. Well, if you're selecting a group of cells, either continuous or maybe scattered, and if you write anything, let's say OK. Normally when you press enter, what happens? It only appears in one cell. Well, let me write OK again. And this time, let me not press enter, but instead let me press control enter. So what control enter does, all the cells that has been selected and you initiate a particular formula or a text or a number, any data point. And then if you press control enter, it replicates that same logic or text or number entire group of cells that you may have chosen. So in fact, at times I use this when I want to initiate a particular word and put that across different cells. So I select those cells and let's say I want to give a word, let's accept it. I type that word accepted. Notice the selection is still on and then I press control enter. There you go. That was control enter, the applications of which we'll see more in detail as we proceed. So this time I want you to notice how do I insert columns and rows using shortcut key? Let's say I want to insert a column between column B and column C. So what I do is I am going to press three shortcut keys one at a time. So I'm not going to press all the three keys at the same time. It's going to be one, then second key, and then the third key. So after having placed my cursor on the column before which I want to add another column, I press Alt, I, and then C. Quickly, it adds up a column. Similarly, if you want to insert a row in between a couple of rows, then you'll use a similar strategy. You'll press Alt, I, and then R. So there you go, it inserts an extra row in between. Now these shortcut keys are pertaining to 2003 version of Excel, although they still work in 2010, 7, and 13 version of Excel. In case, as an additional to the entire portion, in case you want to select the entire column or row, Notice, if I press Ctrl space bar, it chooses the entire column. Similarly, if I place my cursor on any one cell and if I press Shift space bar, it includes in its selection the entire row. So these shortcut keys find them mentioned where in the previous sheet. So the one that we have used in this particular video is Alt I C, Alt I R. We also spoke about Shift space bar and current Ctrl space bar. Apart from this, as an uh, alternative to Alt I C instead of inserting a column through Alt I C, you perhaps can also use this shortcut key of Shift Control plus sign. If you choose the entire column and if you press Control Shift plus sign, it adds another column. Let me just delete a couple of these columns, too much of a burden. And once I do that, let me also talk about a slight difference between Alt I C that inserts a column and Control Shift plus. If you put your cursor on any one cell, not choosing a column separately, just one cell, and if you then press Ctrl Shift Plus, it asks you that whether you want to insert a cell, whether you want to insert an entire row, or whether you want to insert an entire column. So this option then allows you to choose between the four options and then decide after pressing Enter. So what Alt I C is doing is just adding a pure column. Alt I R is adding a pure row, but Control Shift Plus will give you the option how you would want to proceed. Well, as in uh, a final nail on the coffin, if you want to delete the entire row, you might also use Control Minus. What Control Minus tells you is you want to delete the row or column or cell. In this case, I choose entire row and I press Enter. So there you go. These are a couple of shortcut keys which will help you uh, manipulate the data, columns, rows, and work with different workbooks, worksheets in a little bit faster mode.